All right, guys, so I just got my Oedro tonneau cover delivered. We're going to go ahead and do a review and install on my 2021 Dodge Ram. So we'll go ahead, look inside the box here, see what the packaging and everything looks like. You guys can see, it looks like it was packed well, which is important for these because sucks when these get damaged in shipping and it's just a pain in the ass to have to send them back and get a refund or an exchange so right on the top there they got your instructions take a quick look at these make sure that they're pretty easy to read which it looks like they're clear easy to read got pictures and everything this should be a pretty easy install everything is pretty much just a bolt-in type deal so we'll go ahead and take the rest of it out of the box here and then this is going to be a quad fold hardcover by Oedro and I kind of like the aspect of the quad because panel to panel it's a narrower than the tri-fold so when you fold this all up you're gonna have more bed space so I'll show you guys that in a little bit once we get this installed. All right, guys, so we'll go ahead and take everything out of the box here. So it looks like we got some, maybe some extra hardware here. Along with the instruction manual, of course, you're gonna get some extra pieces. Um, these are probably just extras, just in case over time something breaks. And then you're gonna get some rubber pads here for the corners. So let's take a closer look at the tunnel cover here. As you guys can see, it's got some buckles there to lock this into place. So these are hard plastic and adjustable. We got one on each side. And just pinch these to release them. Then we'll go ahead and open this up. You guys can see they got some foam here that they provide, get a better seal on your tonneau cover. Looks like the back portion, so this is gonna be towards your tailgate. They do have some lights, which is nice, so that's gonna be able to light up your bed there. And they got some lights on both sides. So that's cool and it looks like to install this they got some of these kind of like tension clamps so you adjust them by turning them and then you'll clamp them down to lock them to the underside of your bed and they lock into place like that got some holders there so when you're not using it Got some nice corner padding here. Got some padding there for support. And that's what it's gonna look like all folded out. Like I said earlier, it's gonna be a quad fold. It should be a pretty simple install. So let's go ahead and install it in the truck. This tonneau cover isn't too heavy. Um, the box said 72 pounds. There's no way it's 72 pounds. I'm gonna say it's probably around maybe about 50 pounds. Definitely light enough to be able to do this yourself. But if you got an extra person, it definitely won't hurt to get some extra help.
right guys so here's a closer look at the front latches these are going to be the latches that's closest to the cab of your truck so this is going to be the front of your bed here but this is what the latches look like and these are adjustable so these do slide to adjust back and forth the way these are going to work is they kind of have a notice up here that explains to you that if you have any of this plastic bed rail here that you're going to want to make sure that when you hook the lip you want to hook it underneath the metal part of your bed rail not the plastic part you want it underneath the metal part because this plastic part to give way you're just going to pop these out you're going to allow that to slide from side to side to adjust it to fit underneath that rail you can do the same on both sides and then this right here is just kind of like a safety strap just a little bit added security to your tonneau cover just in case one of these were to fail this is going to mount the same way it's got kind of a clamping mechanism there but you're just going to go ahead and clamp this underneath your bed also and then tighten that down just put it like that and you're going to tighten this little this little thumb screw here like i said that's just going to add a little bit of extra security to your tonneau cover all right guys so the first thing once you got it propped up on your bed here you're going to want to do is you can install this foam and it's got sticky side on one side here that's going to create a good seal right here between your tonneau cover and your truck bed so what you can do is just go ahead and hit that with like a degreaser or some type of cleaner alcohol just to get all the dirt off and then be able to get this to stick so it doesn't peel off so after you do that, then you're going to want to take your tonneau cover and just kind of line it up. Uh, it's kind of easy for me because I got these lines here in the top part of my bed rail. So I just kind of lined up side to side with that. And then I'm just flush pretty much here with the back of the bed. So then like on this side, like I said, kind of flush with this line here. And you're not going to bolt anything down yet. You're just going to go ahead and kind of try to square it up, line it up, and then we're going to go ahead and unfold it and see what it looks like unfolded. All right, so I got it all unfolded here, but I got it pretty much lined up for the back of the bed all the way down. So this side here, got your little rubber pads there. And if you look underneath here, you got a nice little rubber seal right underneath. There's the lights where I was telling you guys earlier. So everything seems to be centered up pretty good. As you guys can see down the corner there, everything's nice. So really nice fit. This is a 5.7 bed on here. So good fit. You got your seals underneath there, your gasket. You got your pad there. And then once you lock this down, which I'll show you guys in a little bit, everything is going to seal up real, real nice. All right, guys. So once you got everything squared up, lined up, you can fold this back up now. And then what we're going to go ahead and do is bolt it down. So being able to bolt it down is going to be super easy. Like I said, make sure that this is locked underneath the metal part of your bed rail. You're nice and level. Then when you tighten this, you're going to tighten this up until until this clamp meets up to your bed rail and then you're going to give it just a little bit of a hand tighten there now if this plastic on this bed rail is kind of like hanging over you can trim this out a little bit right where this bracket goes so that fits a little bit better but just a little bit of a hand tighten there on both sides and that's going to lock it into place you should be fine all right, so here's the safety strap. And like I said earlier, according to the instructions, it wants you to attach this to the bed rail. But I kind of like 
doing it that way better. So I actually got it clamped down to one of the tie down areas in the bed and then I tighten the strap up and I just feel like that's a little bit more secure. So I'm gonna do it that way, but you guys can do it however you want. All right, so after you get those safety straps and then the first two brackets tightened down, you're gonna go ahead and fold it. So your first panel that folds out won't have any brackets, but then this third panel here is gonna have your brackets. So I'm gonna go ahead pop these out right now, slide this across so it lines up with the bed rail here. And I'm going to do that on both sides. So pop this out and then slide this out so it lines up with this bed rail here. Should clear that rail there on both sides. So that's what it'll look like when it drops down. And then this lip right there, you're gonna to wanna to do the same thing. You're gonna to wanna to put it underneath the metal part of your bed rail there. So you're gonna go ahead and release it, slide it over, make sure it's lined up. I'm gonna put downward pressure on this lever wants to move that clamp up into the bed and then it locks it into place to add a little bit more tension you're just going to go ahead and screw it up and then try it again see if you got enough tension there if not you're going to keep adjusting that until you get the right length You don't want to force this, but you want to get a nice snug fit there. So now it's nice and tight, and you're going to want to do that on both sides. Now they do give you these pads here, and these pads are supposed to go in the locations of where all these brackets are. So if you want to put these pads up underneath the area of where these are at on this side, but they already got a rubber gasket there, so I probably won't be using these. They got a lot of good sealing here, this rubber gasket here, this padding here for when you flip it over. Got more padding here on the corner. So I mean, they do a really good job as far as the seal or the gasket that's around the tonneau cover. We're over on the other side now. Fold it up there, slide this over. Make sure it's underneath the metal lip so everything's lined up and then I'll just straighten this out. And I could use a little bit more tension here. So I'll go ahead and tighten this up a little bit and then try it again. And there you go. So that's gonna hold it in place there. And then you're gonna have one more set of brackets here that goes on the very, very end. So total, got a lot of brackets here. You got the two brackets up in the front. You got the safety bracket, so that's four. You got the two right here, that's six, and you're gonna have one more set right there, which is gonna be eight. So you got a total of eight brackets holding this down. So we'll pop these out, slide this over, slide this over, and then the same thing. It's pretty easy. As far as the install on this, hardest part is just getting everything lined up. Tighten this a little bit more. A little bit more. And these also you don't want to over tighten because all this is, it's a high quality plastic, but it is plastic. You guys can see here, so I'll show you as I'm tightening this down, you'll see this whole bed, this whole tunnel cover seal up here. So I'm about to tighten it down. You can see there, closed up that seal. Go 
ahead and go to the other side here, do the same thing. Slide this over. Line it up, make sure it's underneath the metal rail there. Tighten this one up a little bit more. And there you go. Same thing on this side. As soon as you tighten that down, you're gonna close that gap up. And that's pretty much it, guys. But make sure that this is all lined up. Like I said, you got that gasket there that closes up right where your tailgate meets. Everything, that's the install. So really, this install should only take you maybe about 10, 15 minutes. Shouldn't take you long at all. So the extra pieces that I showed you guys earlier, these are the pieces to replace these just in the case these pivot points where they do um, give you some replacements. So you got replacement for this one, you get a re one replacement for that, and then you get one replacement for the biggest one here. So it's pretty nice that they send you some replacements just in case over a period of time these joints start to wear and uh, get loose or possibly even break. Now obviously to fold it up, you're just gonna do the reversal. You're gonna go ahead and pop this slide it up pop this one loosen it slide it up and then you can fold it then what you're going to want to do is just slide this so you can lock this in the place here same thing on this other side slide that and that locks into place so that this way when you fold it this isn't going to be in the way and damage this top just go ahead and do the same thing unloosen this get it out of the way move it to the side same thing with this other side here and it's got these pads so that when you fold this can actually lay on those pads there and then the same thing let's go ahead position this so this locks into place go over to the other side super easy to do not hard at all those are out of the way and then these don't have a clamp so you can just flip this over that's gonna fold like so and there you go and then if you want to strap it just go ahead strap that into place on both sides locks into place these are adjustable too so you can tighten that down more if you want, but definitely not going anywhere. And then you got all that room in your bed. To use. It's a nice setup here. Easy quad fold tunnel cover by Oedro. All right guys, so just a quick demonstration of these lights in the back of the tunnel cover. Got one turned on right now. Go ahead and turn this other one on. This light's come in actually really handy. You need to find something in the back of your truck when it's dark. So that's what it looks like with them on. Go ahead, turn them off here. And you'll be able to see it is a huge difference with the lights on and then the lights off. So nice little addition to this hard tunnel cover. I like it a lot. All right, guys. So there you go. Review and install of this Oedro quad fold hard tunnel cover. 
you guys are interested in this, I'll make sure I put links in the description box below. Really nice tonneau cover here. I like it a lot. Good build quality, easy to use, easy to install. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. If you guys like these types of videos, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, notification bell, share the video. Like I said, I'll go ahead and put links in the description box below for more information on this tonneau cover. And then you can pick it up on Amazon if this is something that you're looking to buy. I got this installed on my 2021 Dodge Ram, but they got this tonneau cover for all types of different makes and model vehicles. So go ahead and check them out below. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll talk to you on the next one.